Hey, it's Craig, that fast food guy. Welcome to another That Fast Food Guy fast food review. Today we're at Arby's. Arby's. It's almost National Pirate Day, so here's a joke for you. What's a pirate's favorite fast food restaurant? Arby's. <laughs> Uh, remember, if you like these videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, and also ding the little bell so you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. You know, when Arby says, we've got the meats, they aren't lying. They've had a resurgence over the past few years with some of their advertising. Of course, they've got the we've got the meats guy, but they also had the guy who did, uh, who does Bob's Burgers. He was the chef. That didn't go over so well, but every once in a while, every six weeks or so, Arby's has something new. And today, what they've got new is Philadelphia cheesesteaks. Now look, I know what you're thinking. Arby's, Philadelphia cheesesteaks, really? Really? Arby's does a lot of good things with meat, especially with roast beef. So I'm not gonna put it past them. Arby's wants to do Philly cheesesteaks. Arby's is gonna do Philly cheesesteaks. First, a little history on Arby's. Arby's was started by the Raffle Brothers back in the 1930s. R.B. Roast Beef Raffles. I know, it writes itself. R.B. is the largest fast food chain that sells roast beef sandwiches in the world. At one time there was Racks, if you remember them from the Midwest back in the 70s and 80s. There also used to be Roy Rogers, a staple of the East Coast. There's about 20 or 30 of those locations left. But Arby's is the big dog, and I've got the classic Philly cheesesteak, so let's jump right in. This is what Arby's does. They package it also in their, what they put in their Italian loaded sandwiches. Same box. Let's open this puppy up. See what we got here. Ooh, look at this. It is on a roll. Looks pretty tasty. Arby's and it's got roast beef and cheese. Here, hold this up, take a look at that. All right, let's, uh, it looks good, but you know, Looks gonna be deceiving. Let's give it a taste. Pretty good. Now I got the classic one. I think the uh, other one, which is a spicy, has got maybe some jalapenos or something in it, but this just appears to be uh, Arby's roast beef. Maybe a little bit of some kind of a sauce. Here's to be some cheese, definitely some cheese. I think it's provolone. I can't tell if there's onions. Mm. The bun has a nice chew to it. It's hearty enough to hold up to the sandwich. It is a little bland. It probably needs maybe some Arby sauce. Ooh, if I would have got some Arby sauce, the red barbecue type sauce, that really probably would have helped this. I had a coupon for a $3 classic Philly cheesesteak. And of course, this is a limited time offer. So if you have coupons in your area, take advantage of them. For $3, this is pretty good. Normally, this is a $5.59 sandwich. Make sure you get Arby sauce. Overall, though, I would give the Arby's Philly cheesesteak a thumbs up. I would get it again. Remember, hit subscribe, like the video, ding the little bell so you'll get notifications every time we put up a new video. We're on Facebook, That Fast Food Guy. Also on Twitter, That Fast Food GU1. Just replace the Y with a 1. I have no idea why. Till next time, That Fast Food Guy. See ya.